Yes, he's okay. He's absolutely mad. I was playing at Birmingham one day in a, in a cup cup game, at, and um, we were one up, and right on half time they scored him a free kick. And he's supposed to have been lying up the wall or whatever. And so we come in and Shaka goes, oh, he said, Paolo, you were supposed to... Oh, you blame me. Off he went, he went into one, right? You know them big gauge raid things, you know, the big, the yeah. massive ones? He picks this up above his head now, and he, it was wobbly, it was so heavy, and I've got a nice suit on. I'm, I'm, on, I'm hiding under the table. I swear, he's going round the dressing room about a minute, and everybody's ducking and laying. In the end, he threw it. And it drifted in slow motion all over Shaka's suit, all over the gear. Oh, he was balmy, you know. I don't play no more. <laughs> Come to the boot, you know. Carlo. Okay. He goes out second half, scored, you know. The best one ever we played, it's a true story. We played Bradford City at home. Sure. Do you remember? Yeah. I think we were 4 2 down. Yeah, I remember the game. Right. He's had three blatant penalties. They were penalties, yeah. all turned down. Now, he goes to me. Oh, the last penalty he gets it to go out subs comes walking over to the touchline. I don't play. I said, Paolo. He sits on the floor, I swear, in front of the dugout, crosses his arms, and then he goes like that. I don't play no more. I'm saying, Paolo, get up. We're losing 4 2 to Bradford, Paolo. Get up, Paolo. Paolo, get up quick. The next thing they're dribbling the ball around him. He's still sitting on the floor, wasn't he, Rob? They go through Dean Saunders while he's sitting on the floor, misses an open goal to make it 5 2. Because Stephen Bywater came on a sub right, yeah, yeah. after five minutes. They had four shots, and every goal, oh. every shot went under and eat him or yeah. through his legs. Like he didn't save a yeah, poor kid in the night there. The crowd starts singing Parlo de Canio. It was like the old Mackerson advert before you were <laughs> Mackerson, and this Mackerson ball used to jump up and dribble yeah, with a yeah. ball. <laughs> Parlo de Canio, they're all singing. <laughs> Oh, he jumps up. <laughs> Next thing he gets the ball, I swear. He was there. He beats four players. We go through, bang, bang, we score. <laughs> We're back in the game. Suddenly, two minutes later, he goes through again, saying, oh, something's bang. Four all. Two minutes to go, we get a penalty. Frank Lampard picks the ball up. Oh. Paolo comes over. Five, two. They're pulling the ball. <laughs> in the end, he won't let go, Paolo. Frank sees it. In the end, Frank, it went up a minute, didn't it? it pulling the ball. Oh, pulling the ball. Paolo puts, takes Frank, and oh, I can't win this argument. Puts the ball. Paolo puts the ball down. He runs back, runs up and smashed the ball. The goalie died full length, nearly his end on the goalpost, and Paolo chipped the ball. It took half a minute to, to go in, and it dripped, dropped and dropped, and it just dropped in the back of the net, and the goalie was laying on the floor. <laughs> Incredible. Brilliant. He's a ma he was mad. <laughs> the day he caught the ball ever. Um, what was the most problematic player you ever had to deal with? You know, I think uh, the most problematic... I'm thinking of a The few. most problematic, they were funny. They were funny. Uh, can, I, can I give you a suggestion? Mario? Yeah. Yeah. Mario, Mario was 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 good fun. I could I could write, I could write a book, of two hundred pages of uh, my two years, in interview with, with Mario, but the book would be, not a drama, the book would be a comedy. A comedy. I remember one in, uh, in Kazan. We went to Kazan in the Champions League, and um, in that match I had um, all my strikers uh, uh, injured. No Milito, uh, no Eto. I was really in trouble, and Mario was the only one. Mario gets uh, a yellow card in the in minute 42, 43. So when I go to the dressing room at halftime, I I spend I would say 14 minutes of the 15. I was spending 14 minutes speaking only for Mario. Mario, I cannot change you. I cannot make a change. I don't have a striker on the bench. Don't touch anybody. Play only with the ball. When we lose the ball, no reaction. If somebody provocates you, no reaction. If the referee makes a mistake, no reaction. Mario, please. Minute 46. No way. Red card. No way. <laughs> Uh, there's another occasion. Look, we, we was we was in a hotel one. Uh, uh, we was playing Villa away, and we was in a hotel. And what we used to do the old days, you put the food out, you help yourself. So Arsene Wenger's gone up to the dessert trolley. You're like nothing's happened. We're all sitting on our tables as normal. He's got the old spatula with the old apple pie, and as he's turned around, the apple pie has fell off his plate. 
And now you talk about he don't see a lot. He didn't see his apple pie full of his plate, I promise you. <laughs> but he's walked all the way through all the players, and all the players going, he's got nothing on his plate, haven't he? <laughs> and we're all following him, we're all watching him now. And he sat down, he picked his spoon up, and he was like that. And he couldn't work out where it's gone. He's, like, <laughs> he's looking under the table going, where's, 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 where's my apple pie? And the lads, if, if one of us laughed, we all would have gone. It was like the scene in the, the Romans, the biggest dicker scene. Do you know what I mean? If yeah, someone yeah, goes, yeah, everyone yeah, laughs. Yeah, Brian. And it was, uh, but he, he don't, he, he, he... <laughs> He's absolutely mad. I was at Birmingham one day in a, in a cup, cup game, at, and um, we were one up, and right on half time they scored him a free kick. And he's supposed to have been lining up the wall or whatever. And so he come in and Shaka goes, Oh, he said, Paolo, you were supposed to. Look. Oh, you blame me. Off he went, he went into one, right? You know, them big gauge raid things, you know, the big, the bas massive ones. He picks this up above his head now, and he, it was wobbly, it was so heavy, and I've got a nice suit on. I'm, I'm, un I'm hiding under the table, I swear, he's going round the dressing room about a minute, and everybody's ducking and laying. In the end, he threw it, and it drifted in slow motion all over Shaka's suit, all over the gear. Oh, he was balmy, you know. I don't play no more. Carlo. <laughs> 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 okay, okay. He goes out second half, scored. You know, the best one ever. Oh. We played. It's a true story. We played Bradford City at home. Sorry. Do you remember? Yeah. I think we were four-two down. Yeah. Oh, I remember the game. Yeah. Right. He's had three blatant penalties. They were penalties. Yeah. All turned down. Now he goes to me. Oh, the last penalty he gets it. Go out. Subs comes walking over to the touchline. I don't play. I said, Carlo. <laughs> He sits on the floor, I swear, in front of the dugout, <laughs> crosses his arms, and then he goes like that. I don't play no more. I'm saying, Paolo, get up. We're losing 4-2 to Bradford, Paolo. Get up, Paolo. Paolo, get up quick. They, next thing, they're dribbling the ball around him. He's still sitting on the floor, wasn't he, Rob? They go through Dean Saunders while he...